Welcome back, mathematicians. We are going to do a CGI problem for today, so let's go ahead and read it. It says, Mila collected blank sticks by the pond on Tuesday and blank sticks on Thursday. On the way home, blank sticks fell out of the wagon. Mm. How many did she have when she got home? This is a two-step problem, isn't it? She's collecting six, and then some fell out of the wagon, which doesn't make a three-year-old happy at all. Mm. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Our strategy for two-step problems, we've already read it. Now we need to visualize it. You'll see some pictures attached, or you can visualize a little girl collecting sticks, putting them in a wagon on Tuesday, and then just collecting sticks and putting them in a wagon on Thursday, and then some falling out on the way home. So... After we visualize it, we're going to repeat the problem together. So read it with me. Mila collected blank sticks by the pond on Tuesday and blank sticks on Thursday. On the way home, blank sticks fell out of the wagon. How many did she have when she got home? All right, so what do we know? Well, we know that she is collecting sticks on two different days, on a Tuesday and a Thursday. We know that then some of those sticks fall out of the wagon so we've collected and we've lost okay um what do we want to know well we want to know how many sticks she has when she finally gets home on that last day um is there a hidden question yes there is there is a hidden question here so let me write hidden question now remember the hidden question is Something that we have to be able to answer before we can answer the final question of the problem. So she's collecting sticks on Tuesday and Thursday. And then some fall out and we need to know how many she has when she gets home. So if she's collecting sticks on Tuesday and Thursday. What's that hidden question do you think? We need to know how many sticks she collected in all on Tuesday and Thursday. So how many sticks are collected on Tuesday and Thursday. So that's our hidden question. We need to do that first before we solve for the question that's being asked. Okay, so let's look at our number set here. The number set is actually 18, 35, and 22. We have three numbers. So she's collected 18 sticks on Tuesday, and she got really good on Thursday, and she collected 35 sticks. So what is the action that she is doing? Collecting. I keep saying that over and over again. We're gathering. We're collecting. So that means the operation needs to be Exactly. We need to add those numbers together. Okay. So you can use any strategy that works best for you. I'm going to show you a couple here that we could use. Um, the first one that I'm going to show you is that awesome number line that we've already been talking about. Okay. So I'm actually going to use a green one here for my open number line. Now, remember, if we're adding, we're starting here at the beginning and we're going to jump forward. Okay. So our first number is 18. We're adding 18 from Tuesday plus 35 from Thursday. So here's my question. Do I have to start with 18? I don't. I can start with 35. And if I start with 35, that means I don't have to jump as much on my number line. And I'm going to get the same answer if I do 18 plus 35 or 35 plus 18. Because guess what? They're the same. 18 plus 35 is the same as 35 plus 18. So I'm going to start with 35 because that's more efficient. So 35. Now, if I'm looking at my 18 here, let's jump easy. That awesome 10. Let's jump by 10. Plus 10. So 35 plus 10 is 45. Okay, so now we have that 8. Now, I have 45. I have five ones here. Are there five ones in my 8? There are. If I were to decompose that 8 into 5, what would my other number be? I have a part, I need my, uh, my missing part. It is a three. Okay, so if I jump by five here, that means I get to a friendly number of 50. 
And then I have my three to go. One, two, three. So 53. So that means that 18 plus 35 equals 53 and 35 plus 18 also equals 53. So again, 53 is the same as 53. You could have absolutely started with 18 here. You just would have had more jumps and more work to do, okay? So we added our collection of Tuesday and Thursday sticks and we have 53 sticks collected on Tuesday and Thursday. All right, so now that we've answered the hidden question, we need to go back to the story problems question. And the story problems question is, ha, um, how many does she have when she got home? Because remember, some fell out of the wagon. And if some fell out of the wagon, that means we lost them. If we lost them, what operation are we gonna do? We have to take away because they got taken out of the wagon, right? So. I have 35, I'm so sorry, I have 53 sticks and I want to subtract, look at my number here, 22. So if I have 53 sticks, I want to subtract 22. Guys, this is just a straight subtraction problem now. I could subtract pretty easily if I decompose into my, um, my place value, I had my 50 here and three here decompose into my tens and my ones. So 50 minus 20 gets you to 30, exactly. Now remember, cross those off so you don't accidentally use them again. And then three minus two is our one. So we combine these together for an answer of 31 sticks total. Look at that. So we use the number line to add and then we just decomposed to subtract. We decomposed by place value, didn't we? Um, these are two strategies you can use. You can absolutely choose to do a different, different strategies um, when you get your number set. So remember, you have to answer that hidden question first before you answer the question that's being asked of you because then you want it gives you the number you're going to be subtracting from all right so good luck mathematicians and i look forward to seeing your work